Let's go. <laughs> Get ready to tinker with toys because Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move is about to launch exclusively on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. And hey, for a mere $9.99. So Minis on the Move is a little bit different from past entries in the series. This time you'll be grabbing tiles from a side pipe and dropping them into a grid with your stylus on the bottom touchscreen. Now by doing this, you'll create a pathway to guide the plastic mini toys to an end goal. But of course, it is a little bit more tricky than that. Each puzzle also challenges you to grab three Mario medals. Now you don't have to get them all, but if you're really pining for a perfect score, you do. Puzzles will also feature some enemies to avoid, power-ups to nab, pipes that warp you across the level, spikes that smash your cute little minis, and more. So that's the basic gameplay structure. It's simple, addictive, and it works very well. Uh, but what's really cool here to me is how the game divides the core gameplay concept into four separate modes. Uh, and they play, obviously, a bit different from one another. This is much more interesting than just gradually becoming more complicated and difficult. So Mario's main event, for example, is basically what we just talked about. You know, tiles will fall into a pipe, you have to keep up with the game's pace, and eventually collect Mario medals and safely guide a mini to an end goal. Now, instead of waiting for tiles to fall, Puzzle Palace gives you a predetermined set of tiles, and it's your job to find out where they fit in order to make the best route for the minis. So this mode is a, you know, a little bit more about preparation than it is keeping up with the gameplay. Many Mini Mayhem, which is kind of silly to say, uh, focuses on moving and twisting tile pieces that are already placed on the puzzle stage. To add to the challenge, you'll be guiding at least two mini toy characters at once. So multitasking and making sure you don't grab away pieces from the other character's path is definitely crucial. And finally, Giant Jungle is exactly that. It is a giant stage based in a jungle, which can be really challenging. You're given the task of obviously reaching an end goal that is far away, uh, but there's also 10 Mario stars scattered through the puzzle to collect. Perfectly completing a giant jungle puzzle is, uh, trust me, nothing short of a great accomplishment in my opinion. If you want a challenge, you're going to get it in the giant jungle. So yeah, I mean, I really enjoy how the team took this basic puzzle concept and they broke it into four slightly altered modes. Because of this, you know, you never really feel like the game is becoming boring or too repetitive. The gameplay is definitely simple, but it's also rock solid. The art style is pretty nice. Everything has a very clean, bright Mario look to it. And the mini characters are definitely quite charming and cute. I mean, look at these little guys. I want them. I want to snuggle with these things. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I really like how you can tell they're made of plastic, too. It's a nice little effect. In fact, Nintendo, you really need to make real-life figures of these guys for Club Nintendo rewards. I think everybody would agree that would be amazing. I also want to point out that the 3D effect is actually really bold. It's stronger 3D. And even though it doesn't really do a thing for the gameplay, I think it's just fun to see these little puzzle worlds in 3D. The game's music and sound effects are pretty top-notch. The music in particular has a pretty great high-quality jazzy feel to it. There's a combination of new tracks and also remixes of classic Mario tunes. I really do believe that it's kind of hard to play this game and not enjoy the music, along with the cute little squeaks that come out of the mini toys. The audio, I think, is definitely something that stands out. For $10, there's a lot of replay value here. Um, there's over 180 puzzles to complete across four different modes. There's also four mini games to check out, and each one has a few difficulty settings to unlock. You know, they're not the most amazing thing in the world, but they're kind of cool and a nice little extra. You can also create and share your own custom stages in Minis on the Move. It's obviously a nice feature and means you, well, kind of essentially have an unlimited amount of puzzles to check out. I will say though, customizing your own level is a bit more basic and closed off than I would have liked it to be. It's, uh, I don't know, in my experience, kind of hard to create something that's really unique. Uh, still though, it's a nice feature. All right, so this is some addictive, clever, simple yet challenging puzzle fun. The Biplock is rewarding Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move with a 9.3 out of 10. Now please, Nintendo, make me some awesome Minis merchandise. <laughs>